Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, It's an energy thing. In the height of the moment, I say assassin because that's what I feel like. And I'm going to take you out. I want that feeling. So, you're here on the panel tonight, am I correct in asking that? That's right, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Um, so, what are we expecting to hear from the panel? Uh, well, none of us have seen the film yet, so uh, oh, it's hard to yeah. say. Um, you know, I've obviously been friends with lots of the people in the movie and also with Mick, so Mick and I have a great relationship and I've always collected photos of Mick's and um, you know he's just one of these uh, sort of energized kind of characters that are like plugged into the electric socket. We both had a similar experience, you know, where we, you know, near death, like you had the heart attack, I had a uh, complete sort of uh, you know, flat line on the operating table. And I think we both came out of that with like a full on, like a energy bunny, you know? And so, um, the way he shoots and the way he talks, at the same time he's shooting and his enthusiasm and his excitement about the whole rock and roll kind of world and what it really means, you know, is, is a really great enthusiastic thing to be around. I've been around him while he's shooting and it's, it's an amazing experience. Have you ever shot with him? Um, actually, he shot both my sons in this huge photo shoot about, five, well, about six or seven years ago. Um, I'm not so sure if Mick ever shot Annie and myself. He probably did, uh, but maybe not, I don't know. But, um, you know, I'm a photographer as well, so um, we both have a fascination for getting inside the persona, you know. Yeah, great appreciation for the art as well, then, behind it. Yes, yeah. So what have you been up to lately? Oh, God. Um, well, I've been uh, producing albums, like I produced the last two Stevie Nicks albums and directed a feature film about her, and she's on tour touring one of those at the moment, uh, 24 Karat Gold, you know, with Chrissy Hine. Yep. And then I've been writing songs with um, interesting people in Nashville. Anyone you can name? Uh, lots of different people, uh, but I don't want to name them at the moment. And then I've been created a TV show which uh, NBC are putting on called Songland, which is getting nearer and nearer to uh, shooting the pilot and uh, I can't really think straight because I'm so sort of like scrambled eggs with all the things going on yeah, but um, you've got a lot on your plate yeah a lot on my plate yeah. how did mix work in influence you growing up um, I've always been a huge fan of rock music in general and I really feel like he captured rock culture more than anyone ever has or I've ever seen in my life so it's a huge honor to be here with him so and who were some of the artists that he worked with that you would find, you know, influence you as an artist? Uh, definitely David Bowie. I always grew up listening to David Bowie. He was a huge part of why I started doing music and my brother kind of introduced me to him growing up and I feel like he captured David in his element and now, you know, that he recently passed away, it's like an honor to be here and be a part of seeing his legacy. And, and what do you think makes a good photo? Um, I think it's the person behind the photo. I mean, it has to do with the photographer and the personality of the person who's actually having their photo taken, and I feel like everyone he captured has such a bold personality, so. And I have to ask you, you know, when can we hear this new music? I'm sure fans are dying. Hopefully really soon. Yeah, um, I've been in the studio. I'm moving to Nashville actually really soon because that's where I've been doing most of my songwriting, but I'm really excited. Hi, my name's Kaya Stewart. Oh, this is Dave Stewart, and I've just been buzzed. Camera one, two, eight, to the right. And uh, we'll do a counter. It's one right out of the band, one right. We'll be in there. Eight to black.